Afternoon guys, I might be a little late, but we're gonna go over the little video. We have like a one minute video for Debo Daily Mobile. So let's have a see. We're very excited to share some great news about the DVD Mobile game. So we had a big update in Japan at the end of April. Mm -hmm. The results are amazing. The netties. We want to progressively release this to the rest of the world too. In the United States, there will be a closed beta test so if you're not aware, there is another version of Debodele Mobile. It's produced or partnered with NetEase and they have their own skins over there. So for their own events, we've seen that they have some sort of uh, quick matches, teams, team, uh, like a better team layout page. You know how ours is that little awkward. They're in there. They're like we see their little name, but whatever. Um, they have new skins and they even have their own custom moris too which i think you guys have seen about that already so this is interesting so there's there's going to be a second version of dead by daylight mobile coming to na as well probably from the same people in the next few weeks so stay tuned for that you should know there's going to be quite a lot of new features in this version of the game leaderboards mm -hmm. quick matches team system yep. we're also improving many aspects of the game there's going to be visual improvements on the performance, fluidity of gameplay, and the control layout, and the new player tutorial. That's really handy, actually. Also, That's really good. there's going to be some brand new rewards added, and some unique customization. More news are going to be coming very soon. So that's really cool, because if you've ever played an, uh, an IDV game, I think most of us have by now, if you're a mobile player, they always have these little knickknacks, like pets, paints, emotes, callouts, they have so many things to monetize on and it's interesting to see that be integrated with Dead by Daylight. So imagine Dead by Daylight, you're running around and then you spray paint Trapper's face or you spray paint a Meg, you know? Like, I know it's an old thing, but to finally see that come to uh, DBD, pretty cool. And I'm curious, what if they start doing monetizations to like Mori's? Like, oh, by the way, there's a Trapper Mori, there's a new Wraith Mori, there's a new Huntress Mori, and the list goes on. But you gotta buy these special shards, <laughs> IDV, and then you can buy it, or you can roll for it. You know, like well, what do you want to do? And then they, and then they're gonna also add in their own battle pass. I'm gonna assume, and you know, there's a lot of benefits to this. A lot of questions, I know, but you know, will we lose our accounts? Which I don't believe so. They are probably gonna implement and migration system which i think they actually did comment about that and there is a page to look up check out their twitter please and i believe it's a migration not a copy so if this net ease does very well this net ease uh, variant this could just replace this current app that we have which would be for the better um i think it's better than nothing if they're going to start essentially actually keep up with it, that would be nice. And then we will actually have mobile exclusives to the because NetEase does a lot of exclusivity things. They do. They really do. They go all out like with, with um, IDV. Since it's huge over there in Vietnam and that side of the world, I think there's three versions, technically NA, global version, um, China, and then the original, but it could be wrong. But they do a lot of movie collabs, horror film collabs, anime collabs game crossovers they've done a buttload and if you check them out they are known for this they're known for for seeing what the people want and then just milking it dry so i'm curious in, in like and black uh, type if you've noticed earlier in the dbd stream they announced a collaboration with by a attack on titan so i think we're starting to see a shift into like full monetization i mean more than what it is with the uh, battle pass and skins every now and then like actual more like a lot more like what mobile is known for essentially you know like a skin for a skin a paint an emote like a thumbs up whatever you want to call it we're gonna see a lot of that but anyway that's just me what do you guys think is do you guys enjoy having a migration system now dbd the current app will probably be dead but we, we will essentially move to the quote unquote Nettie's version is what it, I'm gonna guess. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Meh. I think it's a good thing. If it's kept up to date, if it gets the ball rolling, it gets people to play and invest, I'm not gonna complain. I like it. Wait, what? There's sex in Dead by Daylight.